My name is Richard Uslin. I'm an attorney in Somerville, and I've been an experienced criminal and municipal court defense attorney for over 30 years. I'm here to help you now and explain things to you about the drug-related matter you have in Mount Olive, New Jersey. I've already discussed search and seizure issues to defend your Mount Olive drug case. Now I'm going to discuss how an experienced attorney can challenge the scientific evidence. I have a prior science background in chemistry. Uh, so one of the ways that the state is going to try to prove that uh, the drugs that were in your possession were illegal <clears throat> is to utilize uh, a forensic chemist employed by the state police. The first thing that an experienced defense attorney is going to have to do is obtain the complete laboratory reports of that chemist. The chemist is going to use various testing procedures including among others mass spectroscopy. I understand what that is. I'll be able to question the chemist. Bear in mind the chemist can only arguably testify uh, what the substance is that they, that they claim they tested, not whether you were under the influence of it or not. Uh, another way that the state is going to try to prove uh, the illegality of the substance in your possession is uh, through medical evidence, by collecting a blood specimen from you or a urine specimen from you. So let's take each of those separately. In the case of a blood specimen, that's going to be drawn usually by a phlebotomist, and more often than not, using a blood kit provided to him or her by the local police department. In addition to getting those medical records of the phlebotomist, the hospital records and reports, I want to get the actual blood kit because the blood kit contains instructions that have to be followed, and in my experience, uh, oftentimes those uh, instructions are not followed by the phlebotomist. The phlebotomist has to use acceptable medical procedures to draw that blood from you. And then the blood has to be properly analyzed. It can be analyzed either in whole blood or serum blood form, depending upon whether it's tested by the state police lab or by the hospital itself. That can be key in your case. In the case of a urine sample that's drawn from you, uh, by definition, urine is waste. And the only thing that's going to be obtained for that laboratory analysis is going to be waste products, including what are called inactive metabolites, meaning that the active ingredients of the drugs uh, that are claimed to be in your system won't be analyzed. They don't exist. They are now inactive, and that's one of the ways to challenge uh, the evidence in your case. Any experienced defense attorney is going to pore over these medical records and chemist's notes. It's important that the attorney understand that information so they can adequately, adequately and vigorously cross-examine those witnesses. We want those witnesses to be present because the state may have difficulty producing them. And in that event, they won't be able to prove their case either. I've been doing this for over 30 years, as I said, and during that time I was an assistant Essex County prosecutor and a municipal prosecutor. I know what's necessary to convict you, so I know what's necessary to defend you.